Welcome back to this special edition of RFL, The Battle Over Bridge Safety. Now, we start off tonight showing you how we convinced the New York State Bridge Authority to put suicide prevention call boxes on four spans in the upper Hudson Valley. But the fight, it didn't end there. We traveled further south, down the Hudson River, to the Tappan Zee Bridge. The Tap is one of the region's most recognizable landmarks, and unfortunately, it's also one of the deadliest. Over the last decade, the bridge has come to rival the Golden Gate in San Francisco as a spot where the desperate and depressed choose to end their lives. But as we have proved, it doesn't always have to end in tragedy. There are simple and affordable ways to reach out and help those people realize that they don't have to end at all. But first, those in charge of the bridge had to acknowledge that there was a problem. Over the last decade, more than 30 people have used the Tappan Zee as a way to end their lives. It was a message that after several years of pushing, we finally got through to the former executive director of the New York State's Through Air Authority, Ramesh Mehta, or at least so we thought. Judging from the experience what they had on the Mid-Hudson Bridge, I think there were 74 calls uh, since 1986, or 1984, and only one person jumped. So I think it had some impact on the people who use the call boxes. And this is what we think that if we have it on the Tappan Zee Bridge, that may impact also. One lost life is too many. And if we can, with the, whatever expenditure is, this is very, very nominal uh, expense. Right. And if we can save one life, that would be great. All right, so we're on the same page, right? Well, not so fast. The Authority, as you heard, did take note of our mission and put call boxes on the bridge. But here's the problem. They put the phones on the ends of the bridge, more than a mile and a half from the middle of the span where almost all of the victims actually jumped. So we did a follow-up investigation in 2007, and our own Regina Orsania, she's back with that part of the story. Well, Rich, you would think it seems like common sense. Put the call boxes on the center of the span where people are jumping, and maybe they might pick it up and be convinced to give life one more chance. But while we were fighting with the New York State Thruway Authority to make that critical change a reality, people were continuing to jump from the Tappan Zee Bridge and continuing to die. The Tappan Zee Bridge has become more than just a way for commuters to get across the Hudson River. For some desperate souls looking for a way out, it has become a convenient place to end their lives. Over the past decade, more than 30 people have jumped from the span, not surviving the 130-foot drop. Some have called for deterrence like barriers or fencing, anything that might convince a suicidal person to think twice. Joan White, who lost her daughter Stephanie to the bridge's deadly allure, told us in 2007 that her death came as a shock. So when my husband came uh, with the detectives to tell me that um, my daughter was dead, um, it didn't register. Sleepy Hollow's Fire Chief John Corzelius and his rescue team have spent countless hours on the Hudson, searching for victims who have jumped from the Tappan Zee. He told us recovery efforts can cost up to $10,000 every time a person jumps. He believes anything that could stop them from taking that fatal plunge would be worth it. Anything to help somebody, give them that extra second to think about it, they may change their minds. There's a good possibility it just may change their mind. And at the time, Westchester County Commissioner of Mental Health, Dr. Grant Mitchell, agreed. Certainly in bridges where those systems exist, they have been effective in reducing suicides. I mean, that's what the data shows. After RNN started covering this issue, the New York State Bridge Authority announced it was installing call boxes on four of its bridges. Not long after, the New York State Thruway Authority followed suit and added call boxes to the Tappan Zee Bridge. But there was a big problem. The call boxes were put on the approaches to the bridge, almost a mile and a half away from the center of the span itself, where history shows more people tend to jump. A step in the right direction, but clearly not enough. 